What is up, investors? Jason here. So we just gotten over some big things that were affecting the crypto market, some uh, very bearish things that are now um, moving to the wayside. One of those being the EU's potential ban on proof-of-work cryptocurrencies, which would have greatly affected the price of Bitcoin and Ethereum. Now, uh, that, didn't, that didn't go through, and at the moment, there's no watered-down bill to replace it at this time. And we've just recently gotten over the Biden crypto bill, which ended up not being uh, anything bad, it, it, at least to what people were thinking it could say. So we've also now moved on from that. What we're seeing with the price of Bitcoin now is we're, we're consolidating more and more at this time. Now, of course, we still have geopolitical issues affecting uh, all markets. And of course, we have the inevitable rising interest rates that are to be expected. Now, uh, we have some things to talk about, though. We have Microsoft's investment into crypto. We have Elon Musk talking about hodling, giving some advice on hodling, I should say. And we have some other th great things to talk about as well as we continue to see Bitcoin and Ethereum consolidate. And this consolidation is very important because this could lead into a potential breakout. Now, I also want to talk a little bit about the Ethereum gas fees. So I'm going to talk about things that are bullish within the crypto market. Uh, we're going to leave the bearish news to the wayside. Let's look at positive uh, things to look forward to with crypto, uh, mainly with Bitcoin and Ethereum. So as we get to it, if you don't mind, please do me a huge favor. Please be sure to smash the story on Ali or gently press that like button. Helps me out with the algorithm, helps spread this content to more people that might find it interesting and subscribe or follow if you have not already. Now, let's get to it. Now, the crypto fear and greed index might be bearish, but I'm anything but bearish right now. Uh, I'm more bullish than ever. Uh, so looking over at the price of Bitcoin, we're going to do a little bit of a techn technical analysis here, though. Uh, so please pay attention, because uh, what I want to talk about is look at the, the price of Bitcoin was at back in the beginning of the year. Look at look at where Bitcoin was at on January 1st. 2022, uh, we had seen Bitcoin fall below that $46,000 support line, which Bitcoin was holding very strongly on that $46,000 support line all throughout the month of December 2021. And when it had fallen below that $46,000 uh, support in the beginning of January, what we had seen was we had seen a Bitcoin fall down to a support uh, that was as low as 33 thousand dollars now the big thing here though that i want to focus on with with looking at this is what what is bitcoin really trying to uh get up to what is what is having the most resistance with the price of bitcoin and it actually is at forty six thousand dollar price which bitcoin had worked its way up to in uh in the um the second week of february We've seen it a couple times actually in February work its way up to $46,000. And we've also seen Bitcoin work its way up to $46,000 uh, here in March. It, it touches that $46,000 price and we haven't been able to go above that, or find any sort of support. And there's just so much resistance at $46,000 right now that the price of Bitcoin then falls back. So we're seeing between a support of $38,000 and a resistance of $46,000. But the main thing here... To really look at is the the moving averages of Bitcoin. Now, when we look at the moving averages of Bitcoin, uh, mostly between February, the beginning of or February on into uh, now, what we're seeing is the price of Bitcoin is m moving at an average of around thirty nine thousand dollars, and that's about where we're at right now. So, um, we've really been seeing the price of Bitcoin tighten up a lot. We've been seeing it consolidate a lot more and more and more so here in March. It's really tightened up a lot here in March. And this is why I'm very bullish on Bitcoin right now, because when you see the consolidation like this, this could be very positive for a potential breakout. Now, we're also seeing the same thing happen with Ethereum, where Ethereum is tightening up more and more. And uh, we're also seeing the moving averages of Ethereum be less. So we're kind of seeing Ethereum move more uh, in a line here. And this is another good sign that there could be a very bullish shift within the price. Now to some crypto news here, we're seeing a large outflow of Bitcoin leaving uh, the, the exchanges. Uh, Coinbase has reported that $1.2 billion worth of Bitcoin 
has left uh, has left their exchange in one week, and that's the highest outflow since 2017's bull market top. Now, we're also seeing major market players like Goldman Sachs and Cumberland Wade, two of the biggest names in uh, finance, they're moving more deeper into Bitcoin and Ethereum derivatives. Now, these large names in finance, they have no choice but to have to go uh, this route with crypto because this is where their customers are putting you know portions of their money now this is a big thing so we're, we're going to see you know bigger money continue to moving into crypto and speaking of bigger money in crypto elon musk just tweeted about his diamond hands uh, saying as a general principle for those looking for advice from this thread it's generally better to own physical things like a home or stock in companies you think make good products than dollars when inflation is high. And then he says, I still own and won't sell my Bitcoin, Ethereum, or Doge. Now we've also seen Microsoft jump in on a funding round for Ethereum's developer consensus that has nabbed a $7 billion valuation, becoming one of the biggest cryptocurrency companies out there. Now SoftBank also took part in this uh, funding round as well, other than just Microsoft. And this was a Series D funding round, and it raised $450 million. Now, Consensus, which is the developer of popular MetaMask cryptocurrency wallet, has more than doubled its valuation from the $3.2 billion it reached in November, thanks to a $200 million Series C funding round. The round in uh, included such participants as the banking giant HSBC and UK-based hedge fund Marshall Waste. Now, the company plans to expand its staff to 1,000 employees by the end of the year. Now, we're also seeing the Ethereum gas fees drop to an eighth-month low as we've been seeing the price of Ethereum uh, come down. And there's a lot of competition also in this space with Ethereum that they're competing for. Now, at its height, the Ethereum gas fees had spiked as high as $300 per tra transaction back in May of 2021, and this was when the, the bull run was in full bloom. After this, it has decided crashing back down to the $30 per transaction fee territory. However, with the bull rallies that followed and increased activity in the network, this number had spiked again, this time only reaching the $200 level. Now we're seeing the gas fees currently priced at around $35 at this moment, so uh, far different price than where it was at its highs. But anyways, uh, I like to hear everybody's thoughts and opinions on what's currently going on over the crypto market. Now I'm making these videos daily, so there's always new, new news coming out uh, with different information, talking about every other cryptocurrency out there as well as uh, what's going on with the stock market. Try to always fill in that a little bit here and there as well. So with that being said, please like, share, comment, subscribe. New content coming out all the time. Thank you guys for tuning in. I'll see you all in the next one coming very soon.